to make a long story short, I will probably say this is one of the most disappointing endings to a drama that I've ever watched. The drama in question is History, Make Our Days Count. This is actually like my fourth time trying to record this. At first I was just going to talk about each episode. I don't feel like doing that anymore. To give like a quick rundown of my feelings. It's a good drama. The actors did great. The plot was questionable in some points, but for the most part, it was a pretty good drama, you know? What I'm going to be talking about mostly is the final episode, episode 10, and a little bit of episode 9. There's There were 10 episodes on Vicky. Uh, I'm pretty sure when it was casted on, was shown on TV, I'm pretty sure it was like more episodes than that, like Vicky compresses the, the episodes down for some reason, I don't know. Anyway. My main gripe is with the final episode uh, and how it makes no sense comparing it to the rest of the drama. Um, there's two main couples, obviously, uh, and <laughs> my main problem with episode 10 is the fact that it's like we have a fishing line and you cast out the bait. And then right before you get a chance to actually grab onto that bait, they yank it back. And then they cast it out again. And then they yank it back. And then they cast it back. You get it, right? A bunch of baiting. And then we don't actually get that ending that we want. Now, the main couple consists of Yushiku and Houting. I forget his last name. I'm sorry. Um, so that's the main couple. I'm not going to be talking about the second couple because they get their happy ending. Shigu and Houting do not. Um, anyway, so in episode 10, we see Houting basically having a crisis where he is constantly when i say like 90 percent of the episode was him just sobbing and just like this painful crying because we find out well we don't find out we were left to, to believe that shibu died uh because at the ending of episode 9, basically, you know, Shigu, he left to go do something and Houting goes to, you know, help him because he realized he forgot something and then we see Houting going from kind of smiling and happy to see his lover to stone face and then that's the end of episode 9. But then episode 10 comes out of nowhere six years in the future after Houting has graduated from uh you know college and stuff and like it, it, episode 10 it makes no sense oh my god it makes no sense like if the theory is that Houting died right if that's the theory Why the fuck is he showing up in the episode? Like, why... So here, these are my main theories, right? Because, like I said, in, through the entire episode, episode 10, we see Shigu when he's supposed to be dead. Like, where he's interacting with Haoteng, right? 
here, here are my, my main theories with this. The first one, when I first, you know, watched that episode, I was like, okay, maybe Hugo lost his memory, you know, because I, I, I was trying to make sense of it, okay? I was like, okay, maybe he lost his memory because that would explain why he referred to Hao Ting as senior rather than who he actually is to him, right? Then I was like, okay, that doesn't really make sense because if Shigu lost his memory, then why did um, then why did Hao Ting's sister be like, hey, who are you in there talking to? When she knew who, when she knew who Shigu was, I was like, okay, that doesn't make sense. So I scratched that theory out. The next theory was maybe Shigu did die, right? But maybe this person, who Hao Ting is referring to and talking to throughout episode ten, maybe this is a lookalike. And I saw some people saying this in the reviews of the drama. I was like, okay. Maybe he did, uh, you know, die, but maybe he, this is just a lookalike of Shigu. Uh, and that would kind of explain why Hao Ting's sister said, who are you in there talking to? And also that would explain why Shigu referred to, Shigu referred to Hao Ting as senior. Okay, well that doesn't really make sense either because Why would he be acting so weird when he knows this is not Shigu? Why would Hao Ting be acting so, like, like, not distant, but like, why would he be acting so strange towards the situation when he knows this is a Shigu? I was like, well, that's not it. So I was like, my third theory is maybe Shigu did die, right? But maybe. Maybe Hao Ting, with losing his lover, maybe he kind of, you know, broke because, like, throughout the drama, we see that Hao Ting gets like infatuated with like Shigu and like how he trying to get him get Shigu to like him back right and when he does get that he it, it's like this overwhelming not necessarily not obsession it, it can be seen as an obsession but like more so like Houting finally having that person that he can you know really love you know and I was like, okay, maybe with having that, like, su being on such a high because they had passed their exams, they were together, they got accepted by Hao Ting's parents, um, they bought a house together, they have a car, you know, things were going well. And then these high highs suddenly, and then he suddenly sees his lover allegedly dead on the ground um hit by a car i'm pretty sure um and, and remember this is episode 10 happens six years in the future so like something might have been wrong so that's my theory that he wasn't you know okay and it's caused him to have I guess you could say hallucinations but like to the point where maybe that person that was in the shop didn't look like Shigu at all maybe that was like somebody completely different I'm um, obviously they were the same actor but like I'm 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 putting myself in the world of the drama, okay, give me a break. Um, where 
he was visualizing this person as if they were Shiku, if that makes sense. It, it still doesn't really make sense comparing it to the rest of the story. Um, another minor, minor gripe that like pissed me off was the fact that when Hao Ting's dad found out that, you know, they were him and Shigu like together, Hao Ting and Shigu were together, he was so against it, right? But in episode 10, because you know, Hao Ting was no longer with Shigu because he was no longer alive, um, he ended up getting a girlfriend in America. And his dad was like, oh, that girl um, that you met in America is such a good fit for you. Really? Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, like, the plot itself was fine until episode 10. Episode 10 just took that lovely, loving relationship and just spat on it and just stomped on it and set it ablaze. Th that's basically what happened. Um, a lot of people who seen, saw episode 10 were like, okay, we're just gonna pretend this episode doesn't exist. And to us, the true ending is where they were at on the rooftop of their apartment building and they they they, they kissed that, that that's where it, it ends for me that that that's yeah that's where that ends um now in another drama i don't know it was like these two, two dramas should correlate but they actually do somehow i don't know how that works well, I know how it works, I'll, I'll explain it. So there's this other drama called Life, Life, Love and a Lion. Um, great drama. I'm gonna do a review on that one. It's really good. Sad as shit, though. So if, if you're, like, kind of sensitive to, like, uh, death and, like, the prog progression of life, maybe don't watch that drama. Um, but yeah, anyway, there's a part in the drama where they're, I forget what mountain it was. If I figure it out, I, I'll put it somewhere around me. Um, where we see like those two main characters of Life, Love, and a Line, you know, meeting up with each other. But then before that happens, we see one of the main characters like look over. And I'm so mad at myself that I watched Life, Love, and a Line before I watched History 3, Make Our um, make our Days Count. I don't know why I did this. I just, how am I supposed to know that there's like a minor, like, connection between the dramas? Like, what the fuck? So, um, we see Houting, like Houting from History 3, talking to Shibu. Now, it's assumed that this is before they, either before they moved in together, or there's some missing plot point in History 3 to where, uh, because they actually mentioned in History 3 that Hao Ting and Shiyu, that they wanted to go on some type of trip together. And I, I believe it was she who brought up the idea of going to um, some mountain. Again, I don't remember the name of the mountain. I would have posted it somewhere in the video. But yeah, so then we see that. So I'm like, okay, is this after History 3 or is this during History 3? It would make no sense if it was during because Hao Ting's hair. Um, wasn't as long as it was in at the at, at the episode 10 of history 3 um yeah like my my overall feelings of the drama is that everything was great the characters the acting 
can I just say, Wayne's songs, acting, can I just, he's, his expressions and like the way he interacted with like the other like actors and like his scenes, he's such an entertaining actor, but um, great, just great acting like all around, but everything was perfect until the final episode. Every, every, everything was perfect. Everything was great. Everything was amazing. And then they dropped this nonsensical ending. And they're like, okay, here you go. Also, let's just move forward like six years and then you can just like, like fill in the blanks as to what happens there. Also, housing is like heartbroken and like crying 24 seven. So, you know, you deal with that yourself. If I were to rate this drama out of 10, I would give it a 9.5 out of 10, disregarding episode 10. If I were to, inc to include episode 10 in my rating, I would probably have it in around 8 out of 10 around there because uh, I usually don't like rate things less than like seven because like i haven't really watched drama that's like that bad well we'll get there anyway let me know how you feel about the drama if you actually saw it uh yeah it's a good drama if we're disregarding episode 10 that's that's just how that's just my 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 thoughts on it um let me know your thoughts in the comments uh i will be reading them uh yeah just let me know how you feel uh if you have any questions concerns anything again leave them in the comments and i'll see you in my next video bye